Activate the firmware on a primary fabric interconnect. This video demonstrates how to activate firmware on a primary fabric interconnect. Before you begin to activate the firmware on a primary fabric interconnect, ensure that the subordinate fabric interconnect is activated. In the navigation pane, click the Equipment tab and then click the Equipment node. In the Work pane, click the Firmware Management tab. And on the Installed Firmware tab, click Activate Firmware. Cisco UCS Manager GUI opens the Activate Firmware dialog box and verifies the firmware versions for all endpoints in the Cisco UCS domain. This step might take a few minutes, based on the number of chassis and servers. From the Filter drop-down list on the menu bar, choose Fabric Interconnects. In the Subordinate Fabric Interconnect in the Activate Firmware dialog box, which was the primary fabric interconnect earlier, and in the kernel row, choose the firmware version to which you want to upgrade from the drop-down list in the startup version column. In the system row, choose the firmware version to which you want to upgrade from the drop-down list. Click Apply, and then click Yes. Cisco UCS Manager updates and activates the firmware and reboots the Fabric Interconnect, disrupting data traffic to and from that Fabric Interconnect. However, if the Cisco UCS domain is configured to permit traffic and port failover, data traffic fails over to the other Fabric Interconnect, which becomes the primary. When it comes back up, this Fabric Interconnect is a subordinate Fabric Interconnect. Verify the high availability status of the subordinate fabric interconnect. The ready field must display yes, and the state field must display up. The leadership field must display subordinate. 